What's up, everybody? Justin here from Poorly Reviewed Beer, back with two more entries from Sierra Nevada Brewing Company's Beer Camp Across the World collaboration series. Uh, we're starting with the stateside collaboration this time. Uh, they collaborated with Treehouse Brewing Company for East Meets West IPA. Treehouse Brewing Company is from Monson, Massachusetts, and they, in a sh very short period of time, have become very well known for what's called the New England style of IPA. Uh, a lot of people, when they think of IPAs, think of a Sierra Nevada type of thing uh, with a crystal clear golden color beer, um, high bitterness, and so forth. The New England style um, tends to be hazy when it's poured in the glass and uh, a lot less bitterness and a lot more intense hop flavors. So uh, these two uh, very distinct styles here in Nevada and Treehouse have uh, come together, as they say in the notes. An IPA, of course, we're blending our two approaches to the IPA in this East, East meets West IPA. Sierra Nevada's malt body and profile was blended with the heavy-handed, very late hopping schedule employed by Treehouse to create a new hybrid IPA. Lightly bitter and heavy with citrus-like hop flavor. 7% ABV, 40 IBU. Uh, they used ale yeast, Simcoe Citra and Mosaic hops. Malts used were two row pale, caramel, and acidulated. Uh, a couple of these have come in these 16 ounce cans. Uh, I think it's like three or four of the Beer Camp series. And this is one of them. You'll see the others uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, but we'll have one can and one bottle here uh, in today's review. And all the cans came in um, the 16 ounce size, not the 12 ounce size. Uh, checking it out. Just slightly hazy. I can still see my fingers through the glass pretty well on the other side, but it's certainly not crystal clear. Uh, obviously kind of reflecting the, the, the combination of the hazy New England style and the crystal clear, more West Coast IPA style. Nice golden color. A couple fingers of white fluffy head. And as I hold up the light, everything is kind of fair, still fairly similar. Uh, bright golden color, kind of like lemonade-y highlights around the edges. A uh, good amount of carbonation coming up through the glass, and that head's, head's hanging around fairly well, I would say. All right, let's get to it. Mm. Really very juicy is the first thing. I think that mouthfeel is kind of the the first impression overall. Uh, more bitter than I expected, frankly. I guess that's kind of the Sierra Nevada side coming through. So I think the first two major significant flavor impressions are very much reflective of the two differing IPA styles. Plenty of citrus, most notably uh, grapefruit, maybe a little bit of orange as well. I would say some... Uh, it's like some grapefruit rind in there as well. I'm getting, in addition to the, the hoppy bitterness, I'm, I feel like I'm getting some some citrus fruit skin as well. I would say low, low to medium body, I would say. But again, that juicy, citrusy mouthfeel really plays through the entire beer as well, the entire tasting experience. Uh, maybe just a hint of pine in there. Yeah, they call it lightly bitter in the description. I would call this more a moderate. It's not quite heavy. It's not a palate wrecker like a, a lot of West Coast style IPAs can be, but um, I, I would certainly define it as more than a light bitterness personally. Maybe just a hint of malt early on, but uh, really not a, to me, not a major contributor to the, the flavor profile. It's just, again, a lot of citrus, a little bit of pine, uh, and yeah. But a really enjoyable IPA overall. That's uh, It's really tasty, and um, it's really neat. Nice. Uh, I, I think personally, I think it plays more as a... Uh, to the New England side, I said, again, the bitterness is fairly prominent, but um, 
to me, it plays more New England than West Coast, personally. But that is the, the East Meets West IPA, the collaboration of Sierra Nevada and Treehouse Brewing. So let's move on to the next beer. All right, and now for something completely different. Uh, this is a collaboration with Garage Project in Wellington, New Zealand. This is Camp Out Porter, brewed with vanilla and honey. Uh, here are the notes on this beer. We're playing off the camping theme of beer camp with a beer we're calling Camp Out Porter that evokes the flavors of marshmallows toasted over an open fire. The beer features special ingredients such as malt smoked over manuka wood, a tree native to New Zealand, and manuka honey. Additionally, it contains beechwood honey from California and Tahitian vanilla beans to reflect the sweet and roasted notes we were looking for in this collaboration. 7.7% ABV, 32 IBUs. Uh, yeast used was ale. Hops are Southern Cross Pacifica and Pacifica. Malts are two-row, manuka smoked malt, chocolate malt, midnight wheat, and Munich. And other ingredients used include manuka honey, beechwood honey, and Tahitian vanilla. All right. So, uh... A deep brown color. I would say almost like a about halfway in between, like a a, a decent colored iced tea and a cola. Um, I can certainly see through it, though, just from the general darkness. It, I'm not getting a whole lot of detail, but my fingers are crystal clear through the other side of the glass, and I can make out the detail of uh, my light source. The the blinds coming from my window uh, fairly well. Not a lot of head to it. I did not get a whole lot of agitation coming out of the bottle. And as I hold up to the light, it gets more of a burnt orange color, I would say. Some lighter orange highlights. like a, Again, almost kind of like an iced tea colored highlight. But uh, fa fairly dark, but, but quite clear. All right, let's uh, give it a try. Hmm. Fairly sweet overall. I got really some uh, some chocolate and cocoa notes were, were, were they were kind of the first things I detected. Uh, now I'm kind of the aftertaste. I'm really starting to get some of the vanilla. I can't say I've had a ton, but it really kind of evokes uh, the feeling of uh, of s'mores. Um, there's certainly a, a, a mild but present roasted component to it. And then you put that together with the, the marshmallow and some of the sweeter notes. And that all just kind of comes together to, uh, to evoke that feeling. <coughs> mm, excuse me. It's not quite as sweet as I was ex expecting. I thought I'd get a, a little bit more, a little bit more cloying sweetness out of it. <coughs> excuse me. But um, it's a nice level. The, the roast is... Again, I said it was on the light side. Maybe it's kind of ramping up or it picks up in the aftertaste a little bit. Maybe I still have a little bit of the, the bitterness from the IPA on, on my palate. Despite drinking a whole bunch of water, some of that may have uh, lingered around, admittedly. Uh, but really solid, though. Getting a good amount of cocoa and chocolate. Um, fairly straightforward sweetness, I think, from the from the marshmallows. The vanilla again has a bit of a prominence towards the end. Uh, has a decent body to it, and uh, not a bad mouthfeel. It's fairly smooth. Some carbonated prick prickliness, but uh, generally goes down fairly well overall. I think. So that is the Camp Out Porter. That's the collaboration from uh, Garage Project with Sierra Nevada. So that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and on Tapped. You can find all those links and usernames in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer. Mm -hmm.